Hey guys, back again, new video. Uh, this one was kind of, not a last minute video, but it was kind of like uh, something that I need to get done soon because I really want to go dirt biking and I need my pickup truck to go dirt biking. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving down the road, went to the store, went to leave, went to put it in the gear and uh, it wouldn't go in the gear. So, then I did some digging, found under my carpet, the floor is just, I already knew it was rotting out, but it's a lot worse than I thought it was. But I love the truck. I know the floor is getting kind of weak, but the frame's still good. I really like this truck. I'm not done with it. It's not time to part ways with it. So I ordered up a new shifter cable off Rock Auto and uh, yeah, got to install this and uh, I'll take you through it. And it's kind of just like a Sunday afternoon, hopefully quick job. Hopefully it goes smooth. There's a few gizmos I came with. I'm going to have to figure out how it works because I've never changed one of these before. But yeah, stay tuned and we're going to get into it. Okay, so if we look at the parts that this cable came with, uh, this piece attaches to the, um, I believe, the shift lever on the side of the transmission. And it has some sort of adjustment. Right, it's so you can adjust the tension or slack on the cable. So from the looks of it, this mechanism slides in here, but there's a few things I'm not too sure about. Came with two springs. So there's two springs and then there's also this uh, locking clip that I think pushes into the side of this adjuster once you have it in place. And then it came with two cable ties, which I believe route the shifter cable in a specific location, which I might have to MacGyver because my floor's rotting out, right? So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna have to figure out how this, this unit works. So pretty much the first step that I'm taking is uh, removing and doing all the work inside the vehicle and then later work my way underneath. So first thing I did, take this uh, bezel or uh, the front dash piece off. So you just get your hand in here and pull all the way around. Comes off. You have to undo this main connector for the light switch. As well as the airbag cutoff and uh, dome light. So after that, we got to remove the bezel around the steering wheel. And underneath, there's two T25... Um, why am I forgetting the name? Torques, two T25 torques. So uh, we're gonna remove those two now. There it is. All right, let's remove the bezel. Okay lower part of the bezel is removed that's all we have to do what we are looking at right here i'll point to it with the light that is the shifter cable so what we have to do is remove this piece from this lever of the column so you get a little pry bar in there screwdriver and you pry that off if you look further down now that metal sleeve down there is holding the rest of the cable in place after we remove this and pop it off we're going to pop out that bottom sleeve and we can remove the cable from the shifter column okay cables removed so i was having trouble holding the tools and the camera at the same time but to show how this works this part of the cable up at the column but if you come down here there's a loop here. And if you look at the side of it, these two tabs come out. So you need to pop one in with like a pick or something. I use a 90 degree pick, pop it sideways, shimmy it, pop the other side of the clip, and then you could pull this cable out of its loop, which is right here. So, and then there's also, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get a better camera angle here. There's this locking clip that you gotta uh, pull out first 
before you can compress those tabs. Okay, before I go any further, let's really address the problem with this truck. So that's obviously the cable and you can see the outside insulation collapsed. So when you went to pull the handle, this cable pretty much collapsed on itself and wasn't actually pushing the transmission into gear. So this is the part from underneath the steering column. So we remove that. This cable runs under the seat and then there's a little uh, grommet that pops into the floor, which I already popped out from underneath. But let me show you the damage to this truck. Yeah, floor's not looking good. The frame on the truck is strong, but the floor... So I got a decision to make down the road. Yes, I'm going to fix the shifter cable. Yes, I'm going to drive it. But um, I don't want to leave the floor like this for much longer. So there's going to be a big decision. It's either going to be scrap the truck, uh, part it out, or fix it. Like completely redo it. If you want to let me know in the comments what you think, what are the three options would you pick? Part out, scrap, or repair? Maybe get some insight. But I'm leaning more towards repairing but I don't have a concrete answer yet. So now that we're at this position, uh, cable runs under the seat, but I can pull the cable out from underneath. So now we're gonna remove some stuff under the vehicle. So for underneath the truck portion, you'll pretty much need a flathead screwdriver and a big pair of needle nose pliers. So if we look here, this is the grommet I'm talking about. So this is, this is under the floor. So what I did is I popped it out and uh, you can see we're going to drive, uh, we're going to pull that through and out from under the uh, seat when we have it disconnected from the transmission, which we're going to do now. Okay, so looking at this shifter cable, again, we have one of these locking tabs, very similar. To the piece <sighs> that was on underneath the collar. So we'll take your screwdriver. You're going to remove that. Boom. And then the next part will be to take your needle nose pliers and you want to compress these two tabs so you can pull the cable through the back just like under the steering column. But up front, this is your inhibitor switch and this is the shifter mechanism kind of, it's like a pivot point. So this is popped on. Remember I was mentioning this new part with all these gizmos and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is replicate where it's adjusted on here on the new one. But first you wanna take your flathead again. You wanna get in there. You wanna pry it off cause it's gonna pop off. I mean, theoretically it should pop off, right? There we go. That's off. All we gotta do is compress these and then we can take the whole cable out. Okay, I try to get a better camera angle on this uh, mechanism just to show you exactly how it works. Yeah, so the two push tabs kind of like fangs that pop out when you install a cable, when they installed it in the factory. So what I'm gonna try to do, spin my pliers around compress both sides at the same time like so and then shimmy and wiggle this backwards just like that now that that's out this should come all the way through now there's a hole here and this is your removal location so this part's too bulky but if you just push it back that part's the right width for removal so now your whole cable's removed all we have to do is draw it up through the hole in the floor where the grommet is and then we're ready to inspect the new the new part for installment all right <clears throat> cables out there's one thing i overlooked that i will have to mention so the bench seat kind of impedes your access to removing the cable 
that for some stupid reason, they loop it around the airbag module that's under the seat. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So four bolts, unbolt your bench, prop it up about yay high, maybe a foot, not even, and you have enough room to get your hand in here to the airbag module. You'll see the cable, it's wrapped around. You just gotta work it around the uh, module and then the cable comes out. So if we look at our damage assessment, obviously you can see what our problem is. The uh, insulation rotted out as well as the cable rotted out. So it just finally got to the point where it wouldn't uh, engage the uh, transmission anymore. So here's the grommet I was talking about. And this is how I'm going to figure out how to install this on the new one. I'm going to have to reference it to this one and compare it. Okay, so it's almost time to do everything reverse order and reinstall, which I don't usually film that portion because it's pretty much reverse order from taking it apart. Reroute the wires. It's almost, or the cable. It's almost easier because you're just popping stuff in place instead of actually removing. So popping everything back in place is easier. Okay, so I made the cable adjustment. I figured out how to do it. So I referenced the old mark on how it was adjusted. And I took the new one, inserted the uh, locking tab at a specific location. And now they're adjusted to the same length. So the transmission will actually go in the gear exactly how it did before. So that wasn't, well, now it's probably broken. But uh, yeah, so there was also a few extra parts. Like these springs, if you want to let me in, know in the comment if you've ever done this, I have no idea why they gave me this springs, these springs in the bag. I couldn't find springs anywhere that had to do with this job. Because this locking mechanism, I didn't see any springs in it. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And then it came with some zip ties, but we'll make that work. I might, I might actually need those. And then I got to reinstall this after too. But yeah, we're going to put her back together, make sure it works, and we'll go from there. Everything's uh, pretty much back together. So because of the floor being so rusty, I wanted the cable to be routed properly and not move or kink when you put in the gear. So all I did under here was install the self-tapper with a little U-shaped clamp. That way the cable won't move. Gonna hide my rusty floor for now by putting this rubber back down and just pretend that it's all good until I feel like fixing it because I have a lot on my plate right now, but we're, we'll get her done. And uh, cable is now tied up in the factory location. I just got to snip the zip tie, uh, reinstall the bezel. If you look down here, you can see the new cable. I pop back on the there and I put the safety clip back down there on the column. So we're gonna put the rest back together and see how it works. Truck successfully working, shifting good, going into gear. Just took it for a little rip around the farm. I'm pleased to uh, to know that it's working. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what the next move is, really. It's uh, it's a hard one. Uh, I got the Kia, the Jimmy, and the Chev. I need the Chev to go dirt biking because I have nothing else to transport the dirt bike. But uh, that's a decision I'm gonna have to make soon. And uh, you know, might have to make some some sacrifices and what i mean by that I, I may have to sell some of my stuff unfortunately the way the economy is going the way um the prices of things gas i might have to make some sacrifices but hopefully short-term sacrifices for long-term gain in the future and i'm trying to trying to realize that that we can't do everything at once and uh 
it's it's a long shot to keep all this stuff and keep everything going but i'm sure i'll figure it out i just need to figure out a plan and execute the mission but for now i'm gonna go for a cruise in my chef because it's driving mint take care